I went to the Garden State Comic Fest. And I have to say, this is going to be the most amazing comic haul you'll ever see coming from this guy. What's going on, everybody? Here we are. We're in the Garden State Comic Fest, where they're going to be doing Winterfest right here in the building, the bar. We're going to go inside and see what's up. So come on in. What is up everybody? It's me, Izzy, and welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are watching my channel, thank you. And if you get a chance to hit that like, it will be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want to, subscribe to the channel. Think about becoming a Rat Pack member. With Fit, you're going to get entered into this month's giveaway. Leave the hashtag Izzy's Rat Pack for this month. I'm going to share with you the haul that I got at the Garden State Comic Fest. It was a great show. Two buildings. I didn't know that at first. So I almost left without going to the second building, in which there was some other stuff there. And I was able to pick up some books there as well. In this haul that I'm going to show you right now, I picked up some great books. And you're going to be amazed by what I picked up because I got to say, I picked up a massive key. Wait till you see what it is. Like I said, it's going to be amazing. Wink, wink. All right, let's start it off with some simple stuff. Um, I picked up Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and Dazzler. So it's Marvel Team Up 109, Spider-Man and Dazzler. Why not? Why not pick up a Dazzler book with Spider-Man? Why? You might as well, right? So here's the book. Let's take a look at it. It's nice. All right. Also, I picked up World's Finest. 236. This was a pretty cool, fun book that I picked up right there. Let's take a look at that. I like it. I love me some Superman. I love me some Batman. And you yeah, have the Atom right there. So great book there. Another book I picked up from this haul was just, just because I wanted to. And that's X Men 211 featuring a David Finch Phoenix. So why not just pick up a David Finch Phoenix, right? All right. Not the only book that I picked up featuring Phoenix in the cover. I also picked up a Walter Simonson X Factor number 13. That's a great, great image. I love me some Walter Simonson, the way he does Phoenix. Does such a great job. So you got that book there. All right. Um, because I need it, I need more blanks in my life. I picked up a spawn blank. Just wanted to pick the book up. So I, I picked up this one here. Another book I picked up for you guys that love Transformers. And if you love Spider-Man, why not have a little bit of both? So you got New Avengers Transformers 4 of 4. The final issue of the series featuring Megatron looking at 
Our good old boy, Peter Parker. Nice cover. I like it. Here's another book is, what a lot of people don't know is that this is the very first Robert Kurtman on Marvel book. And what better to do it with our girl Jubilee. So pick that book up as well. And here's another book that's a, a hot key that was a hot key for a little while, especially with the What If series that just finished up wrapping up. We have ourselves Captain Carter number one. There you go. Our next series of books are just to complete my Warlock run. So I did pick up a couple of Warlock books, starting with The Power of Warlock issue number two. As you can see, I got The Power of Warlock up there as well. So I got that there. So I got issue number two. I also have issue number three. And I picked up issue 13. So there's my Warlock books. Another book that I really wanted, and when I saw it, I thought it was fantastic for its price. And it is a Joe Simon, Jack Kirby project for DC. It's none other than The Sandman. All right, really good, really good book. Underrated Bronze Age comic book. If you see it, go pick it up. And every time I go to these shows, I, wanna, I always want to pick up at least one slab. So this was a slab I wanted to pick up. I thought it was a great slab. This could potentially be a giveaway slab in the future. So be on the lookout for this book. And if you're interested in this book, hit me up and I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit more. But it's most likely going to fall under a giveaway. And it is Thanos Death Note in a 9.8. This is the Megacon exclusive that, you know, paying homage to Infinity Gauntlet number one. But this time, Thanos has Monia with the Infinity Gems on it. So, really cool book. 9.8 Megacon exclusive. Now, this is the part of the show where you probably say to yourself, why did you show the slab before you showed the, the, the final books? Well, the reason why is the next two books you're about to see are amazing. And the reason why I say amazing is because they are key Spider-Man books one of which I was shocked to get it at the price that I got it for. And I'm so happy I did get it. And I'm going to show it to you in a second. But before I show you that one, I'm going to show you one that that's actually has a good place in my heart. Because of when I was a kid, I had little digests. There was like these little digest books that, uh, that they have of Spider-Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers. And this was the cover of one of the digests that I used to have. So I figured I might as well pick it up. And what's interesting enough about this book is that this is this book, if you look at the numbers, that's the that's the month and the year of my birthday. It's Amazing Spider-Man 76, The Lizard Lives. This book looks great. It's in great condition. I love how it looks. I love how it presents. Can't wait to send this out for grading. So it's definitely a PC book. Now, the word iconic gets thrown a lot. But when it comes to this cover, this is one of the major iconic Spider-Man books that exist. And for good reason, featuring the Spider-Man GOAT art, artist John Romedia at his finest. This book, again, when I say greatest, it's one of the greatest covers of all time. It is amazing. It is spectacular. It is everything you want Spider-Man to be and more. It features the Green Goblin in its cover, and it features Spider-Man in a precarious position because he's tied up. So if you guess what it is, it's Amazing Spider-Man 39. That's right, guys. I was able to get this book at the show. I'm so happy about it. Now, now this is a low-grade copy of the book, but it looks so good. So... I'm really happy that I was able to pick this book up and I'm happy that they had it at the price. The, the guy was like, I'll give it to you for this much. And he and I just went, so, you know, I didn't think twice. I didn't care to think about anything. So I'm really happy with this, this one. I'm definitely sending this out to get graded. It's going to get slabbed. It's most likely going to end up in that wall of comics. And I'm super stoked about this book. So there you have it, guys. That is my haul. From the show, the Garden State Comic Fest. Huge shout out to them. 
I'm looking forward to the Morristown show that's happening sometime in the summer. And I did manage to get a lot of things. Make sure you leave that comment. Also, don't be afraid to write Izzy's Rat Pack for your chance to win January's giveaway, which will include a slab and a tumbler. So, and much more. So be on the lookout. Make sure you watch the show on Mondays so that you can see if you did get a chance to get into it. But if you're a channel member already, you will automatically be entered into the January giveaway. That's all I got to say, guys. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Excelsior.